Okay, my inner 12 year old is so happy right now uh, to boldly go where no man has gone in over half a century. NASA begins a two day test today for the rocket expected to make the first mission to the moon in 50 years. The practice run will determine when the Artemis 1 can launch into space, and we want to get real insight right now. We're joined by NASA astronaut Jose Hernandez. Thank you so much for being with us. This is so exciting. Thank you very much, Adrian. It is very <laughs> exciting to think I was 10 years old when the last man stepped on the moon. And this is none other than astronaut Gene Cernan. And here we are more than 50 years later, getting ready to go back. And you've, you've been able to travel in space extensively. I mean, you spent time on the International Space Station. Yeah. As a young boy, you grew up in, I think, Stockton, California. Is that right? That's correct, and that's where I live right now. Yeah, that's I remember that bit because I'm from Northern California, too. I do have a viewer question for you that I thought was really sharp. Clark Keith asking this on Twitter. He said, compare the technology from 50 years ago to today and how much faster we might be able to get to the moon, too. Oh, oh my gosh. It's, it, the technology is a lot different. Uh, you can put it on autopilot and get to the moon, whereas before it was just vacuum tube technology. Uh, now, the speed, the speed is the speed. It's going to take you two to three days to get to the moon, just like uh, we did with uh, with the Apollo mission. So that's not going to change too much. But but uh, we're going to go with a lot more technology. It's amazing. What kind of tests are going to be run starting today to make sure this is successful? Well, today is called a uh, wet test, Adrian. And what a wet test is, is that they're going to fuel up the rocket. They're going to do all the preparations uh, that are needed to be done right before uh, up until but not including the launch. And so, so they're going to do exercise uh, and you know, get all the cobwebs out and make sure everything runs smoothly. Because later this year, they're going to they have the, the the first three missions very well defined. Artemis One is going to be an, an unmanned mission that mm -hmm. goes around the moon. It's going to be a month long. They're just going to be uh, hovering around and uh, and checking out the system. Artemis Two. Uh, they're going to take astronauts around the moon, and then Artemis three, uh, we're actually going to land on the moon with a lunar lander, and that's when the president indicated that it's going to be a diverse crew. The first woman's going to step on the moon, so that's going to be very exciting. Is there anything that could happen this summer as they prepare for that first launch that could somehow change their time frame for Artemis one, two, and three? Well, if, if they have uh, if, if they have problems, technical glitches or problems or major failures, obviously that's going to uh, prolong the uh, the development and 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 being able to follow the schedule. But uh, we suspect, like the good old NASA way, you know, we have triple redundancy and uh, safety systems that things are going to work out very well. Are you? Would you be willing to go if you could? In a heartbeat, Adrian. Hey, hey, I'm, I'm waiting for the. I got my phone right here, so if it rings, I'm, I'm ready to go. But uh, I understand we've got some younger astronauts out there, and uh, they're eager and they've earned the right to go. So I'm, I'm gonna uh, wish them Godspeed and uh, be rooting them from here on Earth. Once an astronaut, always an astronaut. You have such That's a great right. perspective. What an amazing story you have, your personal mission to getting into space. Thank you, Jose, for joining us. Thank you, Adrian. Appreciate it. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to click on the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.